I'm sorry. I didn't see you there. I was too busy looking aloof and mysterious in my non-essential indoor sunglasses. No, I'm not Steve McQueen. I'm actually a very uncool person. But there's a reason why sunglasses make us look like way more interesting versions of ourselves. Back in 12th century China, judges wore sunglasses to seem impartial and expressionless in the courtroom. By the 18th century, they were used to improve eyesight as green-tinted lenses created high contrast between objects. They were even marketed to elderly people with the motto, a blessing to the aged. But in the 1800s, a different demographic discovered the power of sunglasses, people with syphilis. In part, that's because syphilis causes sensitivity to light, but it's also because these sunglasses would have a metal nose between the frames, which disguised the rotting nostril skin that the disease could cause. I suppose you can surmise why I've come to you. Fun fact, these glasses happened to be the exact same shape as the ones John Lennon wore in the 60s and that everybody else wore in the 90s. But thanks to their association with STDs, in the Victorian era, sunglasses connotated sex and sin, a stigma that continued into 1920s Hollywood. Regardless, movie stars would wear them to protect their eyes from blinding white light from early cameras. Of course, that made everybody else want to start wearing them too, and so the first mass-produced sunglasses came in 1929. By the 1940s, fighter pilot sunglasses during the war caused men to start buying aviators. Marilyn Monroe, meanwhile, popularized the cat eye among housewives. That is, until Jackie Kennedy's oversized frames came along. But perhaps the main reason we associate coolness with sunglasses is that mid-century noir films use them for the exact same reason as Chinese judges. You're afraid she might find out someday. You can't take it, can you? They hid people's true feelings. So if you'll excuse me, I have some important staring off into the distance while smoking a cigarette to do.